Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we are starting um, our new island, which is going to be kind of following the theme of like soft kid core. So I've spent an awful lot of hours, about 700 hours on my current island, and today we are resetting because I finished, I did a big giveaway on my live the other day, and today we are restarting. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and delete my save data for Animal Crossings. And we are gonna restart. I am so, so excited. If you've been watching my videos, you'll know how hyped I was to restart. Okay, and there we go. So when you restart, the things that you need to keep an eye on when you're choosing an island are where your river mouths are, where your airport is, where your dock is, uh, the rocks, uh, res Red's Beach, and the resident services because um, these are all things that you can't modify where they are okay oh I'm so excited look at them they're so cute I'm so happy okay oh I'm gonna I'm so excited to see everyone like out and about again oh I'm glad this little tent oh it's gonna be so cute I'm so so excited so I'm just gonna um, I'm not that pale yeah maybe that uh, that that's probably fine um, what eyes shall we go with I quite like them oh and the colors wrong I've got brown eyes um, I will go with the round nose and I'm gonna stick with that face as well because I quite like it and we'll go with that one. Perfect. Okay, so now we get to look through maps. Um, the other thing that I'll be, I'm gonna be looking for is, oh, I quite like this one. The island looks quite small though. And is resident services maybe too far away? Uh, that one, the airport looks too central. I kind of want my airport off to one side because my previous airport felt quite central. Um, in fact, no, I think I want it central um, because of the way that I'm going to do my island because I want to have the outskirts quite kind of like um, quite natural and the kind of the hubbub to be in the middle. Oh, I like the big rock on the side of this one though. Ooh, oh, I really like these two for where Red's Beach are. Oh, this is difficult. I don't want that one because I don't want the both of uh, river mouths to be at the front. I think we're going to try this one. Yeah, and then the other thing I want, I want peaches or oranges as my fruit. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, I love getting to watch this again. Oh, it feels like so nostalgic. Even though I've never played any of the other Animal Crossing games, I only started playing this at like Christmas. But like, I'm so excited. I can't wait to have my like autumn themed, beautiful, like soft kid core island. Oh, and the villages. Oh, I can't wait to go villager hunting. Oh, it's also like new and wonderful. <gasps> oh my god, guys, it's peaches. We managed to get peaches on the first one. Okay, hopefully we've got two good villages and then we might have genuinely got our map on the first try. How great would that be? Okay, okay. This isn't bad. Okay, I'm actually kind of excited. Have I genuinely got like a good island like first try? So who are you again? Axel. Axel is kid core. Okay, so let's have a look at the beaches. So, oh this one's quite a nice size. Oh, I'm so happy it's peaches. This looks quite good. Um, okay, so that resident services to the airport is like... Okay, that's okay. Oh, we can't ha actually have a look at the map yet. And then what's it, this beach like? Oh, that's a nice big size. Oh, that. Oh, I love that it just goes all the way around. Oh, I like the river mouths on this island. This is quite skinny, but I'm okay with it. Like, I like that it opens up quite, uh, like, quite large onto the actual rest of the island. I quite like that. Okay, I, I think this might be... This might be it, guys. 
Oh, wow. Okay, we've genuinely gone and got our perfect island on the first try, which is amazing. Um, Orange Airport. Um, I'm just going to quickly look up what I get with the Orange Airport. Oh, I think I actually had the orange airport before. So this is the white street lamp, the utility pole with like the label, the white vending machine, the grey park clock, um, which are the ones I'm kind of concentrating on and I'm actually really happy with that. So I'm really happy with the airport. I love the fruit. Um, the villages are quite good. Uh, great for starter villages. Can we see what flowers that we've got yet? Oh, and we've got um, Cosmos. Okay, that's cute. I'm I'm really happy with that. Hyacinths would have been like ideal, but I am happy with Cosmos. They will look cute, and I love the white ones. So, yeah, let's um let's look at this. Oh, I am so excited. This is literally so exciting. I'm like on the edge of my seat. Like I'm like literally like three inches away from my screen. I've been literally waiting for this for so long. Okay, so I'm just gonna um, put myself on the beach for now until I decide what I'm gonna do and everything. Oh my goodness, look at the inventory space. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, what a moment. So we'll go help Axel out with his. I will find you a spot, Axel. You are not putting a tent up here. Oh, he's such a sweetie. I don't think I'll keep him on the island. Like, I don't think he'll be one of my permanent villages. But he's a great villager to start out with. So I'm super happy with that. So I'm going to put Axel here. And then I'll put um, Canberra next to him. Um, this is something I did not do on my last island. I just kind of put them where I thought that their houses would look nice before I'd kind of done anything else in the game. And then obviously you just end up kind of moving everything around and stuff like that. So... Um, I'm gonna gonna do it right this time. There you are. Hello. I'm not the biggest fan of the koalas, and Canberra does have a bit of a scary face, but she's she's quite sweet. And it's cute because I want to go with like natural kid core, so they gave us like a natural villager and a kid core villager. So this this island kind of feels like fate. I feel like Nintendo's just you know given me like a lucky rabbit's foot. Like I've I've been granted some luck for my new island. Okay, so. Uh, the dreamies that I know that I definitely want um, are going to be Kiki uh, and Tangy. And I'd also be super, super happy if I got Dobie again. Um, we were talking about it like on and off during the stream. Um, and I've thought of a few names and we'll have a. I'll go through them in a second. Um, and I wanted to choose a name that was like was gonna like suit my island and kind of like tie it together and I'm gonna go with like soft kid core and it's gonna be like, quite like autumnal slash fall themed I'm gonna have like some studio Ghibli like themed area um, and I was thinking for that kind of area I would want maybe Kiki, Dobie and possibly Coco and um, so I'm thinking their villages that I'd love to get but I would like them all in their actual houses, so I'm not going to try and be hunting for them in like my first three villager hunts. So I'm super excited, I'm thinking of doing things like little art areas and really really natural things. I'm thinking I'm going to keep Blathers Museum as a tent and make like a, that as like a little art station. I'm just going to go ahead and do these little tasks for Tom Nook and see how we get on. Yay! You can light the campfire. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, this is so sweet. So I was having a little think about names, and I quite liked Honey Dew, Honey Wood, or Maple Falls. And there were a lot of other like similar names, but I think the one I'm gonna go with is um, Honey Wood. Um, it just made me think of like Miss Honey's house in Matilda and it made me think about like um, a, like a bee area which I definitely want to have and um, lots of like warm sort of like nature which um, is definitely what I'm kind of going to try and have a lot of in this island so I feel like this suits my island and I hope you guys like it and I hope you guys agree. So this will now be the Isle of 
Honeywood. Awesome beach Isla del Biceps. Okay. <laughs> Axel is not onto a winner there. <laughs> Yay, we have named our island. We have the perfect fruit. We've built our campfire. I'm so excited. Oh, I forgot all these cute little bits. This is so nice getting to do this again. I'm so glad I didn't just like flatten my island and I'm so glad that I actually restarted. This is great. Oh, look at this, just chilling with our little campmates. I think I might also maybe bring some other residents onto the island and then maybe have them stay in a tent and not upgrade that to a house. I think that would might also be quite cute. We are rudely awoken by Tom Nook to quickly get on with Morda's business. Bells? Never heard of them before. Oh, I, I love seeing Honeywood written down. I really like the name. I'm glad that that's what we went with. Mileage? Huh? I am gonna bring over some Nookmal tickets from my previous island for like villager hunts later down the line. We're gonna go into their little tent for the first time in ages. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, it's so cute. So there we are guys, we are like fully set up on this little island now. Uh, we can check the map out. Uh, this is what it looks like. So I'm here and I've got Canberra and Axel over here. I've got a river, river mouth on the left side and uh, the bottom. Uh, Red's beach is over to the far right, which I really like. And resident service is reasonably central and a decent amount of space away from the airport. So I'm really, really happy with this. I think I've got a good space to work with. Um, and I really love the long, long beach that goes around, that wraps around the left bottom corner. And I've got an orange airport and peaches. It's gonna be soft kid core. It's probably gonna be like quite a lot of warm tones, quite a lot of um, oranges and things like that. But I'm also gonna have a lot, um, some bright, more built up areas and like some natural areas once you get to the outskirts of the island. I've got quite a lot of ideas. I just need to kind of like put them all together and it's not like inherently got to be perfectly kind of kid core it's going to be more like nostalgia core for me personally so i'm just going to like put in a lot of things that i'm going to take inspiration from um it's probably going to be a mix of like loads of things like peter pan and um studio ghibli and basically and things that i loved from my childhood so i hope you guys um are looking forward to joining me on my let's play journey and my new island i'm so so stoked to be starting it and i'm looking forward to seeing you guys the next let's play thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye